our math test, chapter nine on data analysis. So look up here, because when you get your test, I'm not going to read it to you. So I'm gonna read it now, and you're gonna to have to remember what to do, and if you get stuck, I need help reading it again, I will read it to you, but you have to raise your hand. Oh, on the top here, questions one, two, and three. You are gonna use the tally chart and graph below to answer the questions. So here's the tally chart, here's the graph, okay? Now question one, how many students walk or ride a bike to school? When I see the word or, that tells Mrs. Murphy I have together. to do what? Put them at, Tell me. Put them together. together. Good job. Put them together. So add them. Number two. How many more students ride the bus than ride bikes? So I'm going to subtract. I got the kids riding the bus and the kids riding the bike, and I'm going to subtract those two numbers. Number three. Everybody should get this right. Yeah. How many students took this survey? So I want to count how many kids in all. I'm going to add those, count the tally marks. Now, at the bottom, you notice that this chart, this bar graph, is not colored in. So what do you think you are going to have to do? Color it in! Colored in. So walking is going to be six. Color six bars in for walking, and this is the walking sign. Three for the bike and eight for the bus. So color that in right away. Then answer the questions. How many squares should be shaded to show the number of students who bike? How many squares should be shaded to show the number of students that take the bus? So shade them in, answer the questions. Okay? Any questions on this side? Okay, on the back, you are going to use the picture graph to answer the questions. Each picture is one vote. So here are shells found on the beach. And so look at the different kinds of shells. They don't have numbers on here, but you can count them, okay? Here's the label over here, so don't count these as one, two, three, four. Would that be right? No. Uh -huh. uh, so this one's like the label. So you start with this one where it's white, so it'd be one, two, three. So don't get tricked on that, because I, I could see how that would kind of be tricky. So answer, which shell was found the least often? How many total of this shell and this shell were found? So it's total you're going to add, okay? How many total shells were found? So the total number, okay? And then the last one is the line fox. So here's our line plot, number of pets students have. So here's the number of pets. Remember the X's are the students. So number nine says, look at the line plot. How many students have one pet? So I'm gonna find one pet and count the X's for the students. How many students do most, I'm sorry, how many pets do most students have? So I wanna look to see which one has the most. And then I'm gonna circle that number of pets. Okay, this test I think you guys will do really good on. Because I feel like this chapter you guys really understood it. Just make sure you read the questions, every word. And if you get stuck on a word, for example, least, raise your hand. I can help you, Mrs. Stewart can help you. We don't want you to get it wrong because you don't know the word. We can help you with the words, we're just not going to help you with the answers. Because it's a math test, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's not a reading yeah. test, so if you can't read something, we can help you. This is a math test, okay? We want to make sure you know your math. Okay. Question, Kinsley. Why is there always like a stop sign at the back? Because that means you're done with the test. That's like the oh. shortest test ever. When okay. we were in first grade, there was these like really 